Andrew can work in your group. Do I need anything? So, group boy, uh, oh. you just don't get with your partner. Andrew, 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 Andrew,
we might want to speed it up. You got them all? You don't need them again. You do need a paper and pencil, though. 
year, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, I know there are a lot of questions they said that are going to be the drag or the click and drag, drag and drop, whatever they, they're calling it. And you'll notice that's why I had click and drag here. You guys are going to have a chance to do that in just a second. Okay, here's another one. How do you guys go to Subway? Okay, now I realize you have more bread options, you have more meat options, you have more cheese options, and you have a lot of other choices too. We're just talking about these specific ones. So bread, I have wheat and I have white. So I'm going to start with my first option. I'm going to drag wheat or white down here and wheat down here. How many branches are going to branch off of white and wheat? Holly? Three. Three. How do you know it's three? Perfect. There's three meat options. We have ham, turkey, and chicken. So since there's three meat options, which is our second choice, our second uh, item to choose from, then there's got to be three branches. I would. Um, good question. She asked me, I want you guys to write it sideways or just straight. I would go sideways. There's nothing wrong with writing white and wheat this way and going down, except for that when you get to the bottom, if you're writing sideways like that, then you have space issues. Whereas here, everything's kind of going off to the side and you don't have to worry about how long your word is. Pepper Jack's a pretty long word to fit into a tree diagram. All right, so I could have white bread with ham, turkey, or chicken. Okay, instead of white bread, I could also have wheat. So I could have wheat with ham, turkey, or chicken. Okay, so off of all of my meats, how many branches should I have? Emily? Three. Why three? cheese options. Alright, is there anything else that I might think of when I think of PJ and a sandwich? Peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly. She asked, can I just put PJ for pepper jack? Now, if I was looking at this tree diagram and didn't know what you were doing, I would think PJ would stand for peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly. Or the, is there anything that we could do so that your reader would know that PJ stood for Pepper Jack? Very good. Make a key off to the side, and then I don't have a problem with it. But if you're not going to tell me what your abbreviations are, then you need to write the entire letter, or the entire word. However, if it's ham, I don't think we really need to abbreviate ham. Ham's a three-letter word anyway. All right, so we have ham. We can have, we can have American cheese. Swiss cheese or pepper jack cheese. On our white with turkey, we could have American cheese, Swiss cheese, or pepper jack cheese. Did we put USA for American? Okay. What did we talk about a while ago about PJ? Oh, no. Okay, if you make a key, then you can do it. All right, and then on chicken with white bread, we can have American, Swiss, Pepper Jack. Same thing down here with our wheat bread combination. We have ham with American, ham with Swiss, ham with Pepper Jack, all on wheat bread. We have turkey on wheat with American, Swiss, Pepper Jack. And then we have chicken on wheat bread with American, Swiss, Pepper Jack. So how many outcomes do I have here? Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Is that how many I'm supposed to have? Yes. Well, let's see. Based on the fundamental counting principle, how many bread options do I have? Two. Times how many meat options? Three. Times how many... Cheese options? Three. So two times three is six. And six times three is eighteen. Eighteen. So we must have all of our possible outcomes. Now remember, 
you do not count all these interior things on your outcomes. You only count this outer tier. Does anybody have a question before I let you try one on your own? Yes? What do you make of, like, why are all cluttered? Yeah, I would have scooted these apart. Okay, real quick, I'll show you what one, because this might answer some questions. I'll show you what one would look like if it were um, going the other direction. We would have white lead this way. We would have our three options going this way. And then we have our ham, turkey, chicken, ham. Turkey, chicken, and then from there we would branch off, and you can see how our Swiss, American, and Pepper Jack would all get kind of cluttered right here. That's okay, as long as you have space, you can do it either way. Here's one I want you to try on your own. You're designing your outfit. You have two pants op out, or options. You have jeans or shorts. You have three, no, four colors of shirts. You can have a red shirt, a blue shirt, a green shirt, or a yellow shirt. And you have two tennis, or you have two shoe options. You have tennis shoes or flip flops. Okay, I want you to tell me how many outfit combinations you have, and draw a tree diagram. Go. Don't forget to leave a little bit of extra space, a little bit more than what you think you would need. It's not bad to have too much space, but it is kind of hard to read if you don't have enough space. interruption. I just want to remind our staff that have not met with the insurance agents that they will be here uh, a little bit later today uh, staying after school. So please feel free to come in and set up a time for them after school to do that as well. We're almost finished taking care of it, so we need to do that. Thank you very much.
Andrew, you bring your paper with you, if you would like. Um, can you set this, how do we start? What's the first thing we start with? Don't do the whole thing. Just what's the first thing, how do we start this?
happening with their resistance time? 18. So what you need to do on these is you need to read carefully and see, does it say that I'm replacing the name or the color or whatever it is that I'm taking, or do I not put it back in the hat, okay? Or does it say you can't repeat a certain number? Okay, so here we would multiply 20 times 19 times 18, and I could have 6,840 possible outcomes. So in our first one, we have
If you want to, you can take a screenshot if you want to, or I have a paper copy. So if you would just rather have a paper copy, raise your hand and I will give you one. If you do not have internet and you choose to use Schoology, then you need to make sure you screenshot it. Jacob, do you not want a paper copy? Okay, I'll try. Try Schoology. Trey, you don't want a paper copy? Anybody in this room want a paper copy? This one? Okay. Go ahead. You have about eight minutes to work, maybe? There is. There's only four questions. On question one and question two, you're drawing a tree diagram. And on question three and question four, you're doing fundamental counting principles. Can you draw this? Seven. Crazy. Yeah, it is a little blurry because I had to take a screenshot and then print it. Any questions? Yes. You can write right on this paper if you want. No, these are your options. You have a flour tortilla or a corn tortilla. You don't even write tortilla. I'm marking out all these. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, they're right up there on that chair. Can I write it on the back? Okay, I am just going to. 